to welcome Bonjour. I have tried so hard to get this pronunciation right. I'm not going to say it anymore. I'm going to let her say it herself. We actually met, um, I can't remember where we met, but it was a European Midwives Association meeting. Um, and yes. she's such an enthusiastic woman. I'm so looking forward to this uh, presentation. Bonjour. How do you know that, Lindsay? <laughs> um, anyway, so um, I would like to introduce Bonjour who is Vice President of the Midwives Association of Turkey and Head of the Midwifery Department um, at one of the universities, which is unpronounceable, Buri in Turkey. <laughs> Over, to <Buri> university. <laughs> Over to you. Over to you, On you go. On you go. Uh, it's mid, my, my turn? Yes, on you go. Uh, okay. Over to you. And, and thanks so much, Linda, for everything you do for midwives. Yeah, really good job for the midwives all over the world. And thanks so much for all team and who arranged the virtual uh, conference and who arranged the, this platform in here. So I'm so happy to to meeting with you in this conference. So I'm the first Turkish midwives, I think, the, uh, within this conference. But I'm really so happy and maybe I'm sure the next time, next year, we are going to be more Turkish midwives within this conference. So thanks so much with the lovely conference as well. So I'm going to start uh, with my presentation. And oh, sorry, just I will say. Yeah. And uh, my colleagues is Dr. Nazan Karahan, and she is also president of Midwives Association of Turkey, and she is the head of the Karabük University as well. But um, she have another meeting at the Ankara and Diffusion City now, and uh, she is so sorry about that. She is not in come this uh, room now, but I will. Uh, uh, I will present uh, both of us. And uh, this year, an International Day of the Midwives in 2018, and midwives leading the way with quality care. So we celebrate this them, all Turkey, and we celebrate uh, this them, all Turkish midwives in all city and in all country in our country. So I would like to put the pictures in the IDM and ICM uh, resource pack. So I will translate it to, from English to Turkish, the ICM research, uh, resource pack. And we use the resource pack to celebrate uh, all midwives in the same them and the same uh, information with the, uh, all of the Turkey. And in another pack, I will put and the Turkish midwives. Yeah, I will start the uh, midwifery in Turkey and uh, midwifery in Turkey together with teaching and nursing in the one of the first female prof profession acquired through education. Uh, the title of midwife is given to those who graduated from a faculty or college that provides undergraduate <coughs> education of midwifery and whose degrees were registered by Minister of Health in Turkey and who completed their education abroad in a school related to midwifery and whose equivalents were approved and degrees were registered by Ministry of Health. Midwifery is a science and art based on knowledge and moral values with a theoretical and practical education. As per the law, no 12 and 19 pertaining to the most of the execution of the art of medicine and its brains, enacted in 1928, uncertified midwives were prohibited from assistant in childbirth and such participation was deemed as a crime. This is the first law in midwifery in Turkey. And midwives uh, have to do, how to work to midwives in Turkey and midwives uh, prepare and conduct the preparation programs to pregnancy and parenting before the pregnancy, monitors and reproductive health of the women within the boundaries of fertility and identify pregnant women and carry out a normal pregnancy follow-up and necessary examinations, identify risky situations and send them, and conduct the birth process, 
monitor the health of the mother and the baby during the travel, conduct a normal birth and emergency medical breach deliveries in cases where there is no doctor, perform episiotomy if necessary, identify abnormalities in the birth process, take the emergency measures, inform the doctors and intervene in accordance with the directives of the doctor. And another one, do the first medical examination of the newborn in postpartum, do emergency resuscitation if necessary, give breastfeeding education to mother, provide care for the mother and identify abnormalities. And apply the drugs in emergency obstetric station in accordance with the protocols organized by the Ministry of Health Turkey and provide training and counseling services to protect and improve maternal and infant health during pregnancy, childbirth and postpartum period. Participate in screening programs for women and newborns of family planning services and monitor all uh, six age child care and development. Participate in especially in pregnant and uh, all six zero six year old child vaccination, contraceptive disease, control programs and immunization services and midwives do uh, in Turkey and they, they are due to in Turkey. And Midwives Association of Turkey was founded in 1954 by a group of six people under the chairmanship of Hasiki Hospital Chief Nurse Midwives Sekina Arjan in Istanbul University, Cerrah Pasha Faculty of Health Science. The purpose of this association is to work for raising and improving the health of women, newborns, families and communities through the support and strengthening of midwifery profession by taking part in professional developments and education practice. In this context, Midwives Association of Turkey President Sekina Ercan attended the International Congress of Midwifery held in 19. 54 in England and make, made an uh, oral presentation about history of midwifery in Turkey. Later, between 1954 and 1978, Midwives Association of Turkey continued its education and development activities for the profession and played a role in the analysis of the duties of midwives by the directive. No, 154, which was issued in 1963 based on the law on socialization of health services. And uh, at the third, 38th Ordinary Congress of the Midwives Association of Turkey on April 15, 2006, uh, the statute was amended and started work again as Midwives Association of Turkey and with President of Dr. Nazan Karahan. The goal of the renewed Midwives Association has been to raise and improve the health of women, newborns, families and communities through the support and strengthens of the midwifery profession. In the following years, the Midwives Association has made a very serious effort for the current midwifery law, but these efforts have not yet reached the fruition. On the other hand, as a result of this effort, important legal arrangements related to midwifery and midwives have been realized in recent years. In this context, and following are some of these arrangements in this. And first of all, uh, by amending the regulation and determination of the minimum, tr minimum training requirements of medicine, nursing, midwifery, dentistry and veterinary pharmacy and agriculture education programs, standardization, midwifery education and mid midwifery qualification documents has been realized. And another one, 
job description have been defined by the regulation regarding the jobs and job de job descriptions of health uh, professionals and other professionals employed in healthcare services and another one in article 1 of the law on amendments to certain laws and degree laws some paragraphs have been added to article uh, 47 and and is dated 1928 on the law on modes and execution of the art of medicine and barons and special midwives and authority documents have been edited and some arrangements have been made with regard to the incomes of specialist midwives within the context of the third period collective agreement of public officials and another one the most important thing the new one is the um law uh, no uh 6639 and dated uh, March 2015, having master's uh, degree, who the graduate education related to the professions of the graduate diplomas are registered as a Minister of Health and then work as a specialist midwives. So we do so many works, but we have to achieve so many challenging as well in Turkey. And what's the statu status of midwifery education in Turkey? First of all, I, as I mentioned before, the history, and after uh, I will talk about the current, statu uh, current status. And midwifery used to be a profession that has been based on experience uh, and which passed from mother to daughter in Turkey. And in the 19th century, big cities like Istanbul and Izmir, midwifery was performed by women called junior midwives who were training a master apprentice system under the supervision of recognized midwives. The first midwifery education in our country began in 1842. We had training courses and became the first female profession to be a character of vocational education. And in 1880, Dr. Besim Ömer Pasha, who began to reach midwives, has been the founder of the contem contemporary midwifery by re uh, sorry, restructuring the discourse with the belief that the midwifery in all applied profession and includes functions related to patient care. Dr. Besim Amer Pasha set forth some criteria for participation in midwifery courses. He determined these interior criteria as being not more than 30, 30 years of age and speaking and understanding Turkish. And he also made the necessary adjustment in the cu curriculum. Later, in 1909, civil and military medical schools were combined and Haydar Pasha Faculty of Medicine was established with a new staff. The first midwifery school and gynecology clinic were opened in Kadırga. This school continued to fulfill, fulfill its function without interruption during World War I. However, the midwives who graduated from this school did not want to assume duties in Anatolia, so the need for midwives was not met outside Istanbul. In 1920, female students from various cities who were primary school graduates were sent to Istanbul to receive education in boarding school and their travel expenses were co covered by local municipalities. When they graduated from these schools, they were assigned to midwifery services back in their home hometown and there be meeting, meeting the needs for midwifery services in other cities to some extent. And 
uh, after the foundation of the Republic of Turkey, 1923. This midwifery school was subordinated to the Faculty of Medicine in 1924. Education given in this school was gradually improved under the directorship of Dr. Besim Emir Pasha and students to be admitted to the school were chosen from secondary school graduates instead of primary school graduates. From this date, midwifery education has been conducted as second, third or fifth year health schools, midwifery on primary school education and as fourth year schools based on secondary school education. Midwifery education was promoted to four year vocational high school education based on secondary school education in 1969 and 1970 academic year to associate degrees 1970 uh, sorry 1985 1985 academic years and to bachelor degree in uh, 1996 academic year and currently midwifery undergraduate education is provided at the state and private universities and in midwifery departments of school of health and is uh, since 1996 and uh, and we changed uh, like the level of the uh, midwifery and uh, from the school, the vocational school to faculty of health science, midwifery department and since 2006, there are 39 midwifery departments in universities in Turkey and for, uh, 34 of them are in the state university and fifth of them are in the private universities. Midwifery education reached master's degree in 2000 and doctoral degree in 2013. Midwifery education in Turkey has been formatted in accordance with the European Union criteria, numbered council directives and Munich, Munich declaration by taking into the consideration the international standards of the World Health Organization. Midwife candidates who successfully complete the midwifery program in line with these directives are expected to have suffi sufficient knowledge about occupational ethics and occupational legislation as well as educate knowledge and experience specific to the field. On the other end, within the scope of Bologna process, standardization has been made in midwifery education programs in parallel with other national and international higher education programs. And what's the status of scientific research related to the profession of midwifery in Turkey? And doing publishing and using scientific research is a professional activity that requires significant knowledge and skills. Scientific research, doing publishing and using is necessary for the development of professional knowledge and practice specific to the area of midwifery. And it's also a way of developing evidence-based practice in research, midwifery and many other disciplines. And on the other hand, it's important and necessary for the research to have social and cultural features to be able to be used in practice and for professional development. And it's necessary to look journals and scientific meetings where scientific meetings and research are published in order to understand the status of uh, midwifery research in Turkey. And because of the late start of undergraduate and uh, 1996 and postgraduate 
and master's degree 2000 and doctoral PhD degree in 2013, education in Turkey. Scientific research activities are also, uh, activities also started late. There is still uh, non-referred midwifery journal in Turkey. However, it seems that midwifery studies are published in journals related to nursing and medical fields, and international publication have increased significantly in Turkey within the entrance requirements that was brought the associate profess professorship exam, and which, in, which is the a professor have to publish at least maybe yeah to get some points at least maybe 40 points in one science citation index journals and scans in the web of science and the first scientific me uh, and that's the obligatory uh, obligatory for the professor in turkey they have to do uh, for to be achieved the professor they have uh, to get some scores and they have to get really big exam and it's to promote and promotion for the international uh, publication uh, in Turkey. And, and also the first uh, and other good things in the middle free scientific meetings, uh, the first scientific meetings related to middle free were carried out by Ege University, uh, Atatürk School of Health, and these meetings were the international participatory and midwifery symposium in 2007, and the midwifery workshop in 2008. And uh, this workshop is organized by our university, Cumhuriyet University, and this workshop uh, name is standardization uh, undergraduate and postgraduate education postgraduate study in Turkey and uh, we invite uh, Professor Valerie Fleming in UK and uh, and th there were a really successful workshop in our hometown and the first national midwifery congress in 2010 the first national Midwifery Congress was held in 2007 by Midwives Association of Turkey. It seems that the third um, national midwifery congress and international participation was held in 2013, and the seventh national uh, midwifery con student congress international participation was held in April 2016. And in addition, Midwifery related studies are also included in scientific meeting held on nursing, children and gynecology and public health. And environments for the sharing of these studies are being established. Midwives learn about research methods and bi biostatistics bio courses in undergraduate, postgraduate and doctoral education programs. And in, ad in addition, some courses, congresses, and mid symposium organized at national and international levels are devoted to research methodology and publication issues. And in this year, 2018, and uh, 24th and 26th on April, and we arrange our university, our midwifery departments, uh, arrange uh, first international, fifth national uh, Sivas Midwifery Symposium. And it was really, really successful. 480 participants was there, were there. And we had 80 oral presentation and 20 poster and we collaborated mayor governor rector and all protocol in the city and we celebrate midwifery there all together all midwives midwifery students midwives educator and all from the turkey and i'm in Amasya now, I'm in the hotel room <laughs> and I'm in the big Amasya hotel now 
and it's running to another big congress in and it's another in, uh, in in this time and third and fifth may and which is fifth international ninth national middle free student congress and uh, organized by amasya university and the international speakers are uh, Dr. Rita Borg Shurep from ICM, Thornton Europe representative, and midwife Serena Debonet uh, is from the ICM Central Europe representative and uh, the uh, representative. And uh, there, uh, there is a running congress and they are in the congress hall now but i am uh, in the uh, conference and after the conference i will come back to congress hall and this congress uh, was uh, is going to be very successful for to support governor rector and uh, our midwives association and another midwives association and all midwife students midwives and researchers all together in amasya and we connect and uh, another congress which we held in 7th 9th november 2018 and it's coming izmir turkey first international midwifery education and research development congress and is organized by association of education and research development in midwifery and Ege university and i would like to invite you uh, for this conference in izmir turkey and we are uh, you are very welcome to turkey and from all parts of europe and all parts of uh verse the maybe the most beautiful cities in turkey is izmir um and we, um, within this context uh reveal the current state of middle free career with extent of its legal regulation education and scientific research in this context the following are results revealed in this discussion, as well as continued midwifery law studies in Turkey, significant level, sorry, legal regulation regarding the midwifery training, employee rights, duties, authority, and responsibilities have been implemented. Midwifery education has attained an international standard and has been offered at undergraduate, postgraduate, and doctorate levels. However, a significant sections of midwifery education is still administered by members of other health professions, especially nurses. And current scientific research on midwifery is inadequate. And according to the discussion, Conducting studies to enact to midwifery law and supporting the work of the midwives of Association of Turkey. And in order to increase the number of instructors in midwifery, carrying out a comprehensive study in cooperation with the Council of Higher Education and Higher Education Institution providing midwifery education, supervising the current education given at higher education institution according to national and international standards and legal regulation and conduct and improvement studies. And these studies can be done by the Education Commission of Midwives Association of Turkey and supporting the work of the Association of Education and research development in midwifery and for the development of midwifery or conducted conducting syst systematic and comprehensive studies by creating a similar working groups publication of referred journal in field of midwifery and supporting the studies carried out in this field are recommended And as I, as I mentioned before, the post, uh, postgraduate in midwifery, and before this slide, uh, 
I've got five minutes more, just only. Linda, I've got five minutes more, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I will. I will be quick. And uh, postgraduate in midwifery, postgraduate education, and um, will started in 2008. Uh, post pro postgraduate programs, universities are Mersin, Ege Cumhuriyet, Kurova, Kocaeli, İstanbul, and Adnan Menderes, and Atatürk University. Although the number of midwifery departments in insufficient, uh, midwifery doctorate program has opened in Ege. Cumhuriyet Atatürk Universities, postgraduate education and monetary program in world terms of competence, spe specialization, as well as providing the experience. In depth knowledge and competence required by the relevant discipline. Um, with, uh, and with this context and academic approach, the program of midwifery profession in Turkey. And I would like to mention about uh, what's the opinion about the uh, structure, about the definition of Turkey. Uh, education factor in, uh, in structure stated that should be the cost of the service provided, professional organization, and in indispensable service giving to society and independent faction. And legis uh, opinions of structure regarding the legislation regulation of midwifery in Turkey. And uh, generally negative in this respect, the general view of instructors is that the current law and which means why first job description where made is not date and different laws and regulation involved expression, the cause, confusion, and details with nursing and which leads to employment pro problem in the country. And another uh, opinions of the instructors regarding the midwifery education in Turkey. It's observed why instructors assess the presentation in terms of midwifery education in our country. They mostly focus on integrate of the number of education educator and the midwifery departments and its effect the uh, quali quality of education. And but uh, mid, uh, there are such uh, less doctoral educators, midwives, uh, midwives, uh, professor. And opinions regarding the requirements like midwifery in Turkey, uh, considering there are 55,000 midwives in Turkey, and the data examined seems to be compatible with the opinions of the instructors, determining the low membership score for professional organization, which is an important indicator of professionalism in their own work, is an undesirable condition for the profession and the future plan we do uh, employee rights duties authorities and responsibilities and uh, edu uh, pro significant sanction of midwifery education and current studies and how to develop the midwifery in turkey and i i would like to put the international day of the midwives idm again uh, and I would like to thanks to for my presentation and inspiring me. Um, and I would like to thanks special thanks to Dr. Nazan Karahan, uh, Midwives Association of President, uh, Midwives Association of Turkey, and Professor Zekiye Karacham, and. Dr. Mohan Yücel and uh, at, uh, colleagues, and Dr. Sevil Güner and colleagues, and inspired uh, their uh, articles from Turkey, Turkish uh, midwives. And thanks so much uh, for your contribution in here. Uh, thank you uh, for all participants in uh in all over the world i think so i'm so sorry i didn't check the um yeah i didn't check the writing but i know joy joy thanks so much joy thank you uh, thank you thank you, you. Thank Bozhu. you all Bozhu, that was fabulous um my turkish is nowhere as good as your english <laughs> um <laughs> that was a, a wonderful presentation and i work out from what you said that you've done a lot of work recently in uh, trying to get midwifery um, in its rightful place in Turkey. 
So yeah, we, al you. we already have one question here from Lindsay, who's asking about the students' clinical yeah, experience. Hi, yeah, hi, Lindsay. Yeah. Um, sorry, just I need to focus. And how is clinical experience for students organized and supervised? And uh, we do. Uh, Actually, this is the difficult question to have to explain. So we are working as a professor at the university. And for example, in our school, we are uh, eight professor and two instructor and one research assistant. And we organize, uh, we are going to the clinics with students and we do all practicing uh, with students. And it's because of the patient care and the patient safety and it's because of the students' safety as well. And our students have to be in clinics with, uh, with uh, our school professor. And this is the obligatory in our school. And also sometimes we uh, have some arrangements with the midwives and clinical midwives who are working and who has the master's degree and we have really good connection uh, with the uh, with the midwives and who work in clinic and and we do together and yeah school professor and clinical midwives we do together thanks so much uh, lindsay teşekkür ediyorum teşekkür yes that, that was some um... That was one of the questions that I had in my mind as well, because um, getting students lots of experience in the clinical area is so important. But you also need to pe have people who are suitably um, educated to actually oversee their care. And you also need to have um, all the regulations in place to allow the students to practice. Um, so it must be quite difficult do the students uh, are the students expected to get 40 births like they are yes, in the yes. uk yes yeah, yes and do they, of course. do they get do they get yeah, their 40 I, births yeah yeah i need to explain uh, our minimum criteria and uh, at least uh, 40 birth um minimum 100 prenatal visits with the consultation and uh, actually we do the all criteria from icm you know and 40 birth and uh, 40 prenatal visit and episiotomy and um, 100 postpartum visit like uh, premature postmature and um, low birth weight visiting and yeah we do all minimum criteria and we do European Union uh, program and yeah we okay do yeah so, so they 40 ectc credits yeah but the the the, the, the good things in the uh in turkish women have as uh, uh, children yeah and we have really big hospital very very big um two hospital university hospital and state hospital and is maybe one day is going to be 10 or 15 birth and it's the good opportunity for our students so do the um so do the student midwives um uh who who supervises the student midwives while they're doing their 40 births uh-huh uh, uh school professor and uh, okay uh, i need to explain maybe one more in the third year and we are going to the students, uh, all professor from the school. And the fourth year and last year, our students uh, are going to be intern, intern, and they spend one year in, in the clinic. And they have a um, basic lecture in the school, and they spend uh, one year at like uh, midwives, and they uh, have uh, day shift and night shift and they spend one year as an intern and also a clinic supervisor uh, and clinic worker uh, and professor um, working together. We have really good relationship with the uh, hospital manager, a hospital um, doctors, the hospital nurse and everybody also we can achieve uh, the uh, minimum criteria but 
uh, is um, for this our school but the other part of the uh, turkey and if the change uh, to uh, patient profile or the demographic uh, features and it's going to be more hard to achieve the criteria yeah yeah yes indeed is do you okay? see have have you seen joy's comment there that um that she joy joy is um member of the royal college of midwives here in the of uk of course i know very well and joy uh -huh. is great job <coughs> joy is doing a great job for all midwives and i follow her and yeah i admire her, her yeah joy camp yeah i admire her so she's suggesting that she can contact you um you her if you like for some um support in clinical student midwives clinical experiences uh -huh. I'm so happy. Yeah, I, I'm really so happy with the contact Joy. Yeah, maybe I you should be. invite. Maybe you should invite Joy to your international midwifery of course. education conference uh, in November. In other news, and I, I would like to invite uh, all midwives, Joy, you, and Lindsay, student midwives, and we are arranged the next year uh, student international student midwifery congress in our school. Cumhuriyet University and like uh, 9th of May and I would like to invite you all from Turkey and it's my hometown and it's going to be really a uh, great con congress and for students, midwives and all international midwives and I would like to invite Joy as well and you. Uh -uh. So um, there's another very in interesting com uh, com question there um, they're asking whether you think that your students are being taught physiological birth or whether it's still very medicalized birth because this is a, uh -huh. a big problem for many countries yes. in europe isn't it yes yeah very big yeah complexity and uh, yeah i'm really sorry about that but in the yeah it's going to be changed because uh, the our cesarean section levels is so high uh, very high and we are the first, I think, OECD in, in OECD countries. And after that, a um, policymaker realized and we changed the uh, uh, policy and they support the normal birth and they support the midwives. And now, right now, and this is the golden time for midwives in Turkey. And when we women uh, get the hospital, I'm really so sorry, but you got in, in induction, you know, induction. Yeah, we have really over medicalization, over, over medicalization in Turkey. But after this date, we are going to be mother friendly hospital. I think they, they start to, to some kind of uh, cities and they start to our cities as well. And if you get mother friendly hospital, they have no over medicalization of midwives but before this time our students uh, yeah try to uh, avoid to all uh, medicalization uh, with the women so we learn we teach our school how to the best for women and we teach our school how to be women centered individual care and our students uh, support women and avoid medicalization. But in this in the hospital, I'm really sorry, but uh, there is some medicalization because of the different uh, kind of uh, reason. But uh, after this date, maybe it's going to be less uh, and it's going to be more support and more natural uh, birth and labor. And it's going to be more happy with women and mother and families and communities. And that it's is very, fabulous. very good. Yeah, yes, that, that is fabulous. You have a long road to journey, though. Um, very. <laughs> you know, every country that I've ever been to and heard about really has had this same journey to make. Um, and what we miss often is to teach the very basics of um, encouraging physiological birth, like um, teaching about the hormones of birth, the, the uh -huh. uh, environment of birth. That gets missed um, in favor of in depth pathophysiology and things sometimes so you are not alone and we wish you every 
um, best wish from all of us midwives to change towards physiological birth in Turkey and the midwives being autonomous practitioners. That would be great. We need to wind up now, though, uh, Berju, if that's OK. Mm -hmm. A fabulous presentation. Thank you so much. Um, we hope to see a lot more of you. Perhaps you come back next year. Okay. Um, okay. Maybe, maybe next year we will you. meet more Turkish midwives in here. Maybe well, in Turkish, as I uh, as we talked before. Yeah, it's going to be great. So thanks so much uh, for the fabulous opportunity for me, Linda, and thanks so much for all team. Thank, Thank you. you.